So now that we're finished with that, uh, let me turn these on and group them. So I'm gonna select all of them and just place them in a group. And I'm gonna call this group controls. Okay, so we're just gonna break from that for a minute. And uh, one thing that you should consider is the face when it moves. So if I select the face bone here and I move, you can see that the face comes outside of the borders of the head. So let's go ahead and fix that. Now, um, we need to group the face, which is this, and the head group together. So I'm just going to select them both here and click on group. And uh, I guess I'm just gonna call this head again, all caps. So this is head. And what I want to do is place the face onto the head. And by that, I mean, we need to come over into the properties here and where it says blend method, we need to change this from composite to onto. Okay, let me save. Now, when we click on the face and we move it, we see that it is now inside of the borders of the, the, um, the head. Now, there's one issue with this. Uh, so let me actually show you what I mean. If I move all the way up here, we can see that the, the borders of the head are is underneath the face here and we don't want that. I mean, it could be a stylistic choice, but um, that's not the case. We want it to be over the, the face, the entire face here. So let me undo that. And the way that we're going to fix that is simply to open the head here and we're going to cut the outline. So control X and we're going to paste it over the face area right here. So I'm going to click on this group and I'm going to press Control V. So now it's above the face. Okay, so it's still in the same place, but it's above the face. And uh, let me zoom in here. Let's test this again. And we can see that our face is, um, our border of the head is over the face here. So that is fixed right there. But I think when I changed it, uh, because it was underneath, I think the the border was a bit uh, smaller. So let me go ahead and change the borders here. I'm gonna put it at an outline width uh, of three. And uh, yeah, that is looking okay. All right, so now we have that all set up. And uh, let, let us get back to the controls here. So notice when you don't have the control selected, you won't be able to tell where they are. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into each of these and I'm just going to add a shape. Now the, the shape is entirely up to you. We can create a custom shape, um, you know, um, colors, you can label them to indicate what they are, but I'm just going to place some circles here. Let me undo that. I don't want the, the border. I want the actual region. So I'm going to select this one here. I'm just going to left click and drag. And I'm going to place it underneath the control here. And to see the control, we need to select it as well. So now we can see it. And uh, yeah, I think this is a good place to leave it. So I'm just going to Yo, move on. this over here. I'm, just, I'm going to have the rotate point for each of them outside of the, the borders of this a bit, like so. That is looking okay to me. And I don't want this to move from where it is. So I'm just going to right click here, convert, and I'm gonna click on grade so that we aren't able to, to move it. Now, an alternative would be to connect it to the control here. So whenever the control moves, it moves along with it. Um, but I don't think I'm going to move the controller by itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and gray that out, convert to grade. Okay. And I'm going to click on save and uh, I'm just going to copy this circle and place it in each of these, place it there, move it down. And, uh, that is okay. Okay. There. And I'm going to paste one here like so and I'm just gonna move this down like here okay so that is looking okay 
I'm gonna paste one here, move it below the controller, like so, and I'm gonna move this, uh, let me see, let me move it down. And the final one, which is the mouth shapes here, I'm gonna press Control V, and let me move this over here, right? And again, uh, it would be good to change the colors or the, the design of the shapes to indicate, to better help, help you understand which is which. Um, so for example, my, let me save here, my eyebrows, I could give the shapes the same color as the, the eyebrows so that visually I know that, oh, this is associated with the eyebrows. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do that like so. All right. And for the left eye shapes, I'm going to, do, 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 I'm gonna give it the same color as the eye here, okay? And the right eye, so, okay, so this is right eye, so I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna move the mouth shapes down here. So, like so. And change this one to the same color as the eye. And the mouth, I'm just gonna change it to the same color as the mouth, like so. Okay, and uh, again, you know, this the, cre the creativity of this here is entirely up to you. We could make a small face here and place, you know, we could have created shapes that looked exactly like um, our character here in terms of laying out our controls here and making it visually more in tune with the character. Okay, but as I said before, that's entirely up to you. Um, but, you know, I might end up doing that in the end, I'm not sure, but you get the general idea. So now our controls for our face are set up. Now that we're pretty much almost done, one thing that we can do is in terms of saving us on animation time and selecting controls and stuff like that, um, because now as we have it, we would have to select or find these things. We would have to add a click here or come inside of each of these folders to find our controls, right? Um, so we can create sets so that we can find them easily. Let me just show you how this is done. So I'm gonna to go to the left eyebrow here, and I am going to go to the control here, right click, and what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click on where it says add layers to set. So I'm gonna click on that, and uh, this is the left eyebrow. Actually, we could, do, we could do one of two things. We could add both eyebrows to the same set, or we could separate each eyebrow. But let me see here, I think I'm just gonna call this Rows and I am going to okay. Let me actually put a number in it so that this always stays on top. Well, let me actually put zero zero. We'll start at zero. So I'm going to press add. Okay, and now in our sets panel, which is here, if you don't see the sets panel, you would go to Windows and then you would select sets. Okay, to open it. So now our set is here. So anytime we need to find our eyebrow, let's say nothing is selected we could find our eyebrow here in the sets panel. Okay, just double click it. If you're working with 1.4.2, if you're working with um, a later version such as 1.3, which hasn't been released yet, <laughs> I think you just click on it once. All right, so uh, that is good right there. Let me actually save this. And for the right eyebrow here, I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to that set. And to add it to the set, we need the same name here. So I'm just gonna copy this name Come over here, right click, add layers to set, and just paste, click add. And notice that we don't see it out here, that means it's in the set here. So if we open up, open it up, we see those, um, the two of them there. And uh, to select the both of them, just simply double click this, and both of them will be selected. And that way you can actually move these together. And I just noticed something, Okay, so as you can see here, I accidentally moved this point here. Now we don't want the controllers to move again, right? So what we can do is do the same thing that we did with the shapes, and that is to gray out these points here. So I'm gonna right click gray, so that we don't accidentally um, convert gray, we don't accidentally move them. 
all right so i'm just going to spend the time to go ahead and do that for each of these and uh the cool thing about rigging is is um it's problem solving so you'll spend a lot of time solving problems right um, we might not be able to factor in everything but once you stumble upon a problem um, then you'll find a solution to a said problem which is what we're doing here uh, okay so that's it for that so I can actually select both of these and move them together if I need to and uh, so let me close up that and uh, go to the left eye and I'm gonna do the same thing for the left eye well for the eyes so I'm going to right click this and I'm going to add layers to set and I'm just gonna call this well 01 and again the number is just so it can be ordered um, from top to bottom so 00, zero was the first one so that will always be on top and um, I'm calling this 01 so it will be underneath the brow okay so I'm just gonna call this uh, eyes and click OK oh let me I accidentally copied and pasted so let me add that so now we have eyes and I'm going to place the right eye in that same set uh, oh let me copy the name didn't copy the name right eye right click add layers to set and I'm going to place it within that same set layer there and uh, the final one is the mouth so let me just go here right click add layers to set and I'm going to call this 03 mouth okay and that's pretty much the only one in that set all right so let me save so this will save us some time when we're animating we won't have to actually um, go over here and search through our layers or click within the space here now you can select all of these at once so if I should double click on that and hold on the control key on my keyboard and double click and then double click again we can have all of them highlighted at any given time all right and uh, another cool thing about this is that we could have added the groups to a set so that when we turn them off we would actually turn off the controllers but we didn't do that in this case here okay um, so just keep that in mind so these will always be on screen here all right um, but you could have done that if you wanted to all right so I think I'm going to end this one here and uh, yeah oh let me add the the bones for the body before I do do anything else let me add the body here da, da, da. Uh, let me actually add the face bone first so let me open up the head here and I'm gonna add the face right click and let me add layers to set and where are we now what number we are at four so four underscore face let me copy that and so we have the face here which is cool and I'm going to place the should I place the ear yes I'm gonna place the ears as a part of the face group there and I'm going to also place the eyebrows and remember these are for movement okay these are for um, changing the shapes I need to end this video soon so well should have been ended already but uh, the eyebrows here da, 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 where are my eyebrows so I'm gonna go into the head here face eyebrows okay I'm just gonna right click and add layers to set add it to the same set here so that when we select these we have all of these points um, highlighted and of course we can highlight uh, we can select them separately by going into the set here and selecting them separately all right so that is pretty cool all right, so I'm gonna stop the video right here. And uh, yeah, then we'll move on to um, another aspect of this rig in our next video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.